Hello everyone, it's Sherry. How you doing today? Welcome to my channel. I'm here starting on my coffee journal and I thought maybe we could just, I'm like at the very beginning, I've been uh, for the last little bit, uh, day, or, day or so, searching through my craft room and looking for things that I could use in a coffee journal. I kind of challenged myself to use what I have and I wasn't really collecting anything, but uh, you know, I wanted to see what I actually have, if I have anything. So I found a whole bunch of stuff. And I showed you some yesterday in my uh, video, but or the other day when I was talking about my coffee journal. And so today, uh, I'm not going to show you things again because I have a whole bunch of more stuff, but we would take the whole video uh, up with me showing you stuff. So I thought we'd just get started and I'll show you what I found as we work on this journal. So I had said, uh, and I still am going to try it, I'm going to leave this paper on the back. This is actually paper on this, um, you know, Reader's Digest. Uh, I took the book block out a while ago and um, managed to keep the spine in perfect, you know, condition where it was not coming apart or anything. So I'm going to keep that on there as part of the support for the book. And then, uh, but I'm going to take off this because I'm worried that if I just cover it up, it will be loose and maybe whatever I put over top of it will be loose. Does that make sense? I think it does. So I've never done this before. So I'm going to just kind of, let's see, I just put away my X-Acto knife and I was just going to try to use my scissors and kind of just cut this piece off of here. Uh, kind of, maybe I need do need my X-Acto knife. Hold on. <laughs> I was like, I don't need this anymore. I'm going to put it away because <laughs> I want it. Trying to clean up a little bit here too, because I've got, I mean, I've got quite a bunch of stuff here picked out for the coffee journal, right? So quite a stack. So this is loose right here. I'm just cutting. See how, see how that's just loose? It's just not even uh, tacked down at all. So let's see now how this comes off of here. I want to keep this dark part intact. So maybe just cut up the middle. We're going to see what's under here. If you've never, oh, this is really thin right here, this outer layer. Wow, it's like tissue paper almost. But there's another paper, there's some more paper under here, I think. So we're going to see what's, what's what in some of these Reader's Digest, I guess, how they're made, right? <laughs> yeah, see that? Oh, it's like, oh, what is that? You know what that is? It looks like Tyvek under there. Wow, well that's strong at least. That is Tyvek. It's Tyvek underneath here. Huh, look at that. Who knew, right? So I don't want this to tear here. So I'm going to gently, gently, try to gently just kind of take this off. Right like this. I want the edge to even stay wrapped with this original paper if possible. So... Yeah, that's Tyvek, so that is strong. Just this top layer was, I don't know. We'll see if we can keep the Tyvek on there. And just take this top loose layer off. Let's go, let's see. So this, maybe just take the, the loose part off and leave the rest that's glued down. And this is loose here. I don't know. I'm just going to play it by ear, really. I was hoping we'd get this whole cover kind of almost finished during this video, but who knows how long this will take, right? <laughs> okay, so, yeah, this is all. Well, the Tyvek is, you know, I think they just didn't glue this one down good, you know? I don't know, I don't know what happened here, but, you know, how they say certain days in manufacturing are better than others. If you ever have seen that kind of study where uh, don't buy a car that's made on certain days because <laughs> people aren't working their best on those days type of thing. Maybe it's that way in the Reader's Digest manufacturer, manufacturing uh, uh, building factory too. <laughs> so uh, let's see. Let's see how this is going to come up. I don't want to disturb this black part either so let's see 
see, I don't even go close to that because I can just see it all ripping off, which is, I mean, not, not that I'm not going to cover it up. I am going to cover it up, so I don't know why I'm stressing about it. I'm going to cover that up. So I shouldn't really worry about it, right? But I'm not going to cover up that edge. I really want to be careful over there. So, let's see. I just wanted to leave that. I don't know why. That black, that black spine part. All right. <laughs> This is part of the white part, is the Tyvek, I believe. Getting close to that black part. I might be able to cut it with my scissors if I take it right up to here. Okay, this is this is loose, yeah. This is loose. take any of this wrapped part off here either. So I'm going to cut this right there. I guess I could glue that back down right there. And then this part here. Get off of me. <laughs> Sticky. It's not sticky. It's just like electricity kind of thing sticking to you. It's not electricity. It's just what it's made out of, I guess, sticks to you. That Tyvek or whatever this paper is. Look, see? It won't leave me. It keeps coming back. <laughs> that piece. Get off of me. <laughs> Crazy. Okay. Let's see. See, that is loose under there. I don't like that. I don't like that being loose, but it's very... Oh, I just got through it, I think. See, there's the cardboard. There's the cardboard. Okay, let's cut down the middle here, because this is all not glued down right here. That's what I'm trying to get at. What is glued down and what's not glued down? I don't like that being loose, just hanging, you know? Kind of like hanging. Hanging loose. We need to fix it up. This is, I think it's glued down there. Let me get my, let me get my, uh, let me see. We have never done this exactly thing, thing before, so. I do not want to take any layers off the cardboard, so I'm going to be careful with that. So that is the book cover that I want to use, <laughs> and I want to keep the other side. Again, it's all together here, so why not keep it together? Okay, so this is all the loose parts. I'm just going to cut them off. See what we got left. Kind of brutal, I know, but it was loose, so we need, we need to fix it, right? It's an old vintage book. Okay. So let me see how loose this is. This goes all the way up to there, so I would like to cut a little bit more of this off. If I have a little bit to glue back down, that's one thing, but if it's a lot, that's another thing. You know, I just want to make sure I can reach my glue up into where I'm gluing it back down. Because I'm using cardstock over the top of this, I don't think, like, if I have this partial layer, I don't think it will show. We'll try it out and see, though. Okay, so see, that's just a little bit there. That's just a little bit. That's just a little bit. All this is just a little bit of looseness. So I'm going to put my glue right under there and art glitter glue and glue that back down nice and flat so I don't have to tear off the rest of this. 
I just wanted that that middle part was just all off. It was it was just off of this cardboard, and that seems like it might not be secure if you try to cover that up, right? Okay, so we can glue this back down. If I need my Fabri-Tac, I'll get it. But uh, if this this uh, art glitter glue glues it down fine, we'll just use this. I mean, this is fine. So, nice, strong, permanent glue. Oh, that's glued down now. I'm going to fix it right up. So this is not, this is kind of a craft with me and kind of like an experimental because I've never done this before and so you can see if it works <laughs> by me experimenting with it and then if you need to do it, you can do it to a book if you ever find a book like this or you know, similar, you can do something like this to fix it. You know, and don't be afraid to bring it home. I mean, if you find a book like this for, you know, cheap, you know, and you're looking for a Reader's Digest, and this one's, you know, one's a dollar, and this one with a loose little paper, and you know you're going to redo it, you know, into a journal. And you, you know, you don't have to be afraid of one with loose paper on the front. You can just, you can redo it if you want to. <laughs> if you don't want to, get the other one, right? <laughs> and like I said, I don't, I said in my first video, I don't know if I realized it was loose when I brought it home. But now that I did, I'm not going to, I'm not going to discard it or anything. I'm going to fix it, right? I'm obligated now <laughs> that I brought it home. I have to fix it. Okay, so now that's all nice and flat. You see, it's not no looseness anymore. Let's see, there's a piece loose right there. That probably isn't that big of a deal, but we'll go ahead and glue that little piece down, and then we'll get started on some good stuff, some pretty stuff. Just gotta do the basics first before we get started, right? Okay. So now that I've done that, we're gonna let that dry and work on the inside. We'll get all the base ready here and then go from there. And finish up all these little pieces here. Okay, I think we got it. I think we got it. We went all the way around and glued down all the pieces. Do not want to mess this side up here because I'm going to leave that just like that. Okay, so the inside, here it is. I thought next, let's see, I'm going to need my paper cutter here. And I'm going to put this stuff out of the way. And get my paper cutter over here. This I might use for something, so I put that here. It's in some burlap. It should be in my other pile, but... Oh, excuse me. <laughs> that sneeze just came on me all of a sudden. I, it's, uh, it was super hot yesterday day here and today it's cooler. So I don't have my fan on. I have a ceiling fan in here. I don't have it on right now, but I feel like it's getting warm. I might have to get up and turn it on in a second. <laughs> we'll see if I make it through without getting up. But I'm just peeling my glue off my fingers here for a second because I was just working with that glue. Okay, so paper cutter. We're starting right from the basics here. I've got some cardboard. I save all the cardboard that I come across for my spines. And if it's thin, like this one's a little thin. I have thick, I have thin. I just happen to have this here, so I grabbed it. And uh, if it's thin like this, I'll double it up, right? So we're just gonna cut a piece to fit in here. Um, this is a originally, um, this spine is, I know I measured it, I think the other day, but about one and a half inches. I can fit three signatures in here probably. So I'm just gonna measure this like this. 
and I want two of these to fit in between the two edges here. So this one looks like it would be fit right about there. Let me grab a pen or a pencil. Let me grab a pencil, make a little mark here. So I need this to be exact, you know. I mean, if I cut it too big, that's one thing, but I don't want it to cut it too small. How about right there? So I hope we'll measure that in a second, see how it fits in there after we cut one piece. And then we're going to cut two pieces. Because, um, I mean, you could use one piece. This just depends on how, you know, hard or soft you want your spine. If you want a soft spine, spine this could be good for soft spine softer spine which you know sometimes I do a softer spine and sometimes I do a more rigid spine so see that fits in there perfectly so um, let me measure let me measure the length that's perfect on the top the length is about right there so we'll cut that and then we'll cut another piece at least one more piece and we'll see how sturdy that is and so we'll double this, we'll glue two pieces together to make this sturdy piece. And just a second, I need to attend to my, apparently I'm having some kind of an allergy thing right now. <laughs> of course. On video, you know, I wasn't having any problem until I turned on the video. Okay, so. Let's cut a second piece. So I'm going to measure with our first piece and just cut right here. Make it a little quicker. I have a little pom pom thing hanging. It's getting in my way. Get out of the way. Okay. You messed me up now. My pom pom messed me up. It was just an extra pom pom strand from my pom pom turtle tur tassel. <laughs> and I accidentally left it out of my tassel and I have it hanging here ever since to do something with so one day I will use it somewhere somehow <laughs> or maybe it'll just be a decoration in my craft room maybe that's what it is right now <laughs> okay let me take this one out of the way so I do not cut that one and then we have a second layer. I mean, you can triple this up too. It just depends on how it feels after this, what, what I'll do if I feel like I need a triple layer. I just don't want to make it so thick that I can't sew through it when I go to sew the signatures in. You know what I mean? So, that piece I don't need. Okay, so I would glue the two, these two sides together because they'll be easier to glue together. Then the, these, this is kind of a glossy piece, but let me see how, if this is going to be thick enough. See, it's, it's uh, it might be almost thick enough because I'm going to add, I'm going to add fabric on top of this too. So let's see how it feels once we, this will go in there, make sure it's not too thick. Actually, it might be a little bit too, too wide here. I might have to cut it down a little bit because it's not fitting in there it's like a little bit too wide uh, and the length is a little bit too just slightly too long but I want to see how it feels it feels good it's not too hard it's not too soft I'm going to be putting the fabric over actually on the inside and the outside so that by the time I do all that it will be plenty strong so I'm going to cut a sliver off the side here because it's a little let me see. Let me see. A little sliver off the side here because it's a little too wide. I just need to get it straight. I don't want to cut it crooked. And it keeps moving. I want to do both pieces at the same time so that they're the same. Let's see if my, eh, my paper cutter might not do that. Okay, it doesn't like that. <laughs> Let's try again on one piece. I said no, I am not cutting through two pieces of cardboard. <laughs> One is enough. Okay. So, see the little tiny sliver I cut off there. But, let's see, so I cut this one. That fits in there. Okay. 
So actually I made a line there, so that's good. I see where to cut. I actually made a line when I tried to cut through both of them. So I see exactly where to cut now. Even though it didn't cut through two, I have a line to cut on. So that worked out well. I like that. Okay, so let's see. If we glue these two layers together, it'll be like that. Does it fit in there now? It does, it does. It's tight, but I need it tight, so that's good. Now the length, I also need a hair cut off, so let's do the same thing. About like, it was about like that. Uh, let's see if that's good now. A lot of measuring, right? But we got to get this right. We don't want the cardboard sticking out the bottom of our book. So now I got that measurement. So let's measure the second one here for what I need to cut off. Not like that. Okay, now we're going to glue these together. And it's just cardboard. I mean, no reason I can't you just use a no reason I can't use art glitter glue on here. So I need to order some more soon, like this week. So I'm gonna have to bite the bullet. <laughs> I was hoping the price would go down a little, even 50 cents or a dollar or a couple dollars. But uh, last time I looked, it was still the same. I think it went up since like COVID and stuff. Cause I know I got it. I believe I got it cheaper before COVID, like at least a couple dollars cheaper, maybe, or a few dollars even, or maybe even five dollars cheaper. But uh, nope. Now it's uh, where it is and it's not moving. Move, not moving down anyway. Maybe I should get it before it goes up, right? <laughs> Okay, so since this is slick now that I've left the slick sides on the outside, I'm going to use Fabri-Tac. I probably would use Fabri-Tac on here anyway, but I'm going to use Fabri-Tac to glue this down. And I guess we're just going to see how far we get with this video, and then I'll go on with it. Whoops, my lid popped off my Fabri-Tac. Uh, in the next video, because I don't have, I have about eight minutes left here, eight or so minutes, but... Okay, so I'm going to put uh, Fabri-Tac all over here once it starts coming out. All right, so, yep, here it comes. Okay. I don't know if I'll cut any of this. I don't want to take a chance of cutting the spine, so I might just leave that. I think it's all right. It's all going to be covered up smoothed over so I want this nice and glued down so I'm going to put plenty of uh, fabric tack in here this middle part it's not flowing that well this is a new bottle <laughs> yeah I'm just not squeezing hard enough right I know I was at Walmart yesterday and I don't need fabric tack like this is a new bottle I just opened but I was looking, I kind of just, I was looking to see what they had. And they had one little bottle there. Like, no, it was the medium bottle, I think. I was like, oh, should I get it? And I was like, are they, are they getting rid of it? <laughs> I was getting worried. And then I looked and the, the little, uh, you know, price tags were still on the shelf, three of them for the three different sizes. So I was like, okay, I'm not going to panic. I'm not a, I'm a believer in not panicking about things. So... <laughs> I did not buy it the last one. I was like, I'm not going to panic. It's not on, you know, and didn't take the tags off. So it must mean they're getting more in. Yeah, I don't believe in panicking. So let's kind of wait it out, see what happens. Okay, so this is going down here, right where we measured it for, right in between. Get it all in there, down in there. Nice and strong. Just gotta make sure it's in there, right? Okay. Okay, so I'm still going to use, even though I'm not like 
you know, making a new spine where I have to attach the spine to the two front and back cover, I'm still going to use my uh, duct tape to smooth this all over and just make it all cohesive and strong. So that's another layer. See, that's why you don't have to, I have to sew through these two, plus the book, <laughs> plus the duct tape, plus the two um, layers of fabric. So, you know, that's why another reason you don't need I don't feel like I need another layer of cardboard. So, <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of layers and it's going to be a very strong, rigid spine by the time I get done with this one. So, and I just use this neutral color duct tape on most. I have white too in case I don't feel like I want to use this one. But usually I use this one because, uh, well, I mean, it doesn't show, but the reason I use this one really is because in case it does show, it's not bright white sticking out. It's like maybe through lace or, or something like that. I don't know. I think I'm sure I've used it somewhere where it where it shows. And you can wrap it around or put pieces in here and pieces separate pieces on the outside. I'm gonna put separate pieces because uh, I like to on this one. I want to make sure it doesn't go over too far when I go around to the front or the back. You know what I mean? Sometimes this, if you wrap things around from here to the front. It ends up being like too far over somewhere like on the front or the back. So I'm just going to do it like this and do separate pieces. When I do the fabric, I will wrap that around. So that will cover up my tops of my spine and the bottom of my spine. So it's all cohesive and, you know, the color is all cohesive and, co you know, one color all the way around the spine. Okay. So let's go ahead and do this other piece. Wait, let's let's mash this down. I'm trying to hurry a little bit because I see my time is about up here. I've got about four or so minutes. So mash it down. Everything's in place. Okay. Now this. See, I need another piece here because it's so actually in the middle you have two layers of this. <laughs> see what I mean? It gets thicker and thicker as you work on it, so you, you just don't need, I just don't need three layers of that cardboard. That would be, first of all, really hard to sew through when I get done, ready to stitch in the signatures. And it would just be overkill, is what I think. <laughs> It'd be overkill, way overkill. Okay, so here we go. Now, I did leave a little bit there, so I will either cut that off or Smash it down. Okay. Now we're all together. See? It's all together there. Doesn't that look nice? And we're going to cover that with fabric. But I'm just saying right now, you know, looks nice and solid. So we're going to... Well, you know what? I don't really need it on the outside, do I? Yeah, I just thought of that. Because I'm used to making my spine separate and having to put the two sides together. But yeah. I can just put fabric over that. I don't need it on the outside. I just thought of that. Okay. We saved a step. Yay. Saved a step. Okay, so the fabric. Next, before we put the fabric on, we're going to put cover this up. So I have this, which I showed you the other day. This pretty scrapbook paper because it's almost the same color as the paper that was on there. So it's going to be perfect. And beautiful. So I'm going to cut a piece of fit on here. I want it to go right to the edge here. Not over the edge or anything like that. And over to... I'm going to go ahead and put it over to here because the fabric is going to overlap it, but I want it to just, you know, be covered and then I can make the fabric go as far or, you know, as far as I want. You know, a little bit, a lot, whatever I decide. So I'm going to stop right about here and cut right there and I've got about two minutes, two or three minutes guys, so we'll see what we can do here. I just do not like my camera to cut me off, you know what I mean? I do not like that. I will not, 
I have posted a couple of videos like, oh my goodness, I can't do that over because I'm, and I'm going to have to post this video just like this with it just ending abruptly. But if I, if it happens, like if it happened during this video, I probably wouldn't post this. I'd be like, okay, I guess I'm not posting this video. <laughs> so that's why I'm so like one minute, two minutes, three minutes <laughs> type of thing. I, I always uh, do the countdown for you <laughs> for myself. So, uh, okay, so we're going to stop there so I don't get cut off, but this is going down here, and then I'll, I'll do another video where we um, start, keep working on the cover, if you don't mind, if you want to watch. If you don't want to watch, you can, don't have to, but if you would like to, please join me, and I'll see you next time. So have a great day, and happy crafting.